They said Ol Olori Elizabeth was shocked by what she saw at Akure. You know that I've said this before. KBS's problem is pride. If only KBS will keep pride aside, he will achieve more than what he has achieved so far. And he will achieve peace, which is the greatest, you know? Because when a, a man is at peace with himself and his family, hey, every other thing can follow, you know? But when you don't have that peace, no matter what you do, no matter what you achieve in life, you can never be fulfilled. As in, you will always want to get that, you know? So, but with pride, uh, many people will lose so many things, including their loved ones. Uh, from what we are hearing right now, KBSC have gone to Akure to beg Queen Naomi again at the back. The same KBSC who said he married women of calibers. He married people who are educated. He married people who were unable to control their marriages and left their husbands to be with him. He married women who have something upstairs. I believe that if a woman has something upstairs, she will not leave her three kids and her husband to come and destroy another woman's marriage. But that is the kind of people that KBSC as people who have something upstairs, you know? So, and if not for pride, KBSC wouldn't have lost the precious jewel that God has given to him. And running after stones from different uh, men who are fed up because I believe that their husbands are fed up with them. That is why they decided to come and destroy Queen Naomi's marriage. Many of them were dating Queen Naomi. If we were dating Kabiesi, even when they were in their husband's house. Like Temi Tokpa, who left her a few months old baby to marry Kabiesi. Are you not telling me that uh, he wasn't dating Kabiesi? Why in that marriage? Hmm? So these are the people Kabiesi sees as people who have something upstairs, who, are, who have class who have qualifications, but common sense, they lack it. Anyways, from what we are hearing right now, KBSC have gone to Akure again, but the same economy keep begging her, begging him to let her go, that she's no longer interested in this marriage, that she is fed up. When KBSC did not succeed, they said he came back and sent Dr. Elizabeth in as much as Dr. Elizabeth is not happy with what KBSC is doing. Because the other day we heard that KBSC blasted Dr. Elizabeth just because Dr. Elizabeth told him that this his decision is becoming so embarrassing and humiliating. So six of them are not enough for him that he wants to go and gather more. And the people he gathered already are not making things better for him. Instead, every now and then there is trouble, uh, problem in the palace. And yet, he is still uh, trying to bring more. They said they had a serious altercation that day, as in KBSC and Dr. Liz. When Dr. Liz told him that Kenami have made just the very good decision to leave, at least she will be safe. They said that did not go away with KBSC because KBSC doesn't want anybody who will encourage Kenami to leave him. So at the end of the day, I don't know how they were able to settle it. We are hearing that KBS have come to beg Dr. Elizabeth to please go to Queen Naomi and talk to Queen Naomi. That Queen Naomi will listen to her. I wonder what she, he was thinking. So when uh, Dr. Elizabeth finally agrees to go and talk to Queen Naomi, they said Dr. Elizabeth came to the palace, came to Akure, sorry. She, she visited Akure. And when she got to Akure, they said Kwenomi was with uh, some of uh, her church members. And there was this powerful prophet among them who was there when uh, Dr. Lizzie came to the church where they, they, they were seated. As in, they said they were seated in church. When Dr. Elizabeth got to their house, they told her she's in the church. She, then she went to the church and saw Kwenami with the prophet and so many other members in the church. 
So they they allowed her come in. They said Kunami told her to come in because maybe Kunami doesn't want to have this personal discussion with her again, knowing that uh, she is coming to speak on on behalf of KBS. You know, they said Dr. Elizabeth uh, entered and sat down. She was waiting for whatever they were doing to end before, so that she would be able to talk to Naomi. They said the prophet told her that look that your mission here is this KBS who sent you. They said the man in question, the prophet in question does not know Dr. Elizabeth. Or maybe I don't know if he knows her from the from online. I don't know. But personally, as in the man did not know who Dr. Elizabeth is. But they said the moment uh, he saw Dr. Elizabeth, he told Dr. Elizabeth that look, that it is KBS, the only of you that sent you. Are you one of his wives? They said Dr. Elizabeth said yes. They said, the man told Dr. Elizabeth that, look, that KBSC is a good man, but his problem is pride. That he has so much pride and ego. And that is why he hardly listens to good counsel. And the way he is seeing you, that you are a good counselor, that if only he will be listening to you, the most mistake that he is making, he will not be making it. And not only you, even his father, the Akabiesi spread will make him to lose the precious gift that God has given to him if he is not careful enough. And the, by the time he loses that precious jewel, that he is going to regret it for the rest of his life. And his uh, uh, ways is going to be rough more than he expected. You know, that this message, they have given him this message over and over again even in his dream, where he doesn't want to listen, that he should tell, as in, the man is telling Dr. Elizabeth now, to tell Kabiesi that if he wants to live long and stay long on that throne, that he should know that pride is not good for him. He is a king, yes. He is wealthy, yes. But you see pride, he needs to take pride away from his life for him to succeed in life. That at his age, that he should know that most times that this proud, uh, pride have destroyed things for him. But he doesn't want to stop until he loses something that he will live to regret before he will know that pride is not good for him. They said Dr. Elizabeth was like, as in the, Dr. Elizabeth was kind of surprised. But Dr. Elizabeth shouldn't be surprised because... We all know that it is the spirit of, do you know who I am? I am Kabiesi. I am the first son of the gods. I am a big gist, a big dad that is taking Kwenami away from Kabiesi. Because if not, when they had issue, Kabiesi should have gone for Kwenami. And when Kwenami came back, he should have protected Kwenami and be there as a husband to Kwenami. And I believe that Kwenami wouldn't have left him the way she did. Anyway, guys, that is what we are hearing. Don't forget that these are all alleged information, okay? They said Dr. Elizabeth was surprised. Uh, but the question is, is he going? Is she going to deliver the message? Or is she going to be afraid of what KBS would do to her if she delivered that message? Uh, at the end of the day, we did not hear whether uh, Quinami listens to Dr. Elizabeth or not. But we all know that at this point, Quinami is not ready to listen to Dr. Elizabeth or anyone who is advising her to go back to that palace unless the Holy Spirit talks to her because she is a prophetess too. And I believe that if God really wants her to go back, God will talk to her about it. Thanks for watching.